Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are turning my horribly messy pantry into something that is aesthetically pleasing and functional. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. As you guys saw, my pantry was a complete mess. We recently moved into our new build and honestly my goal for unpacking has just been get everything in its place and then I'll work on making it pretty later. I have a almost five month old baby and a three and a half year old daughter. So unpacking has been quite the struggle. So like I said, my main goal was just kind of get everything in its place and then I can deal with it whenever I have the time or whenever my baby is being taken care of by my husband Juan or another family member or whatnot. So today, this evening, Juan was able to kind of take care of the kids for most of the time period. You'll get to see Jack in a little bit, but uh, I was able to really focus on this project and I'm so glad that I was able to get it done. So in a video a long time ago when I was just kind of starting to unpack, I did line our pantry shelves with some clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree. And originally I was hoping to just kind of drape over the contact paper so that the edges of the shelves would also be covered, but it kind of lost its stick underneath. So I decided to go ahead and trim it down just so that it was nice and on the surface and stopped at the top little edge of the shelf. And in another previous video, I opened up this little Lazy Susan and this can holder, as well as some other containers from Costco. And I just kind of tried to figure out exactly how I thought it would work best in the pantry space. I also had some little kind of uh, fabric containers left over from Aubrey's room. I figured I would repurpose them and use them here in the pantry just for kind of overflow later on.
So when we were living in Texas, we went to La Madeleine's and I would always get Belgian waffles. And I realized what made them so special was they actually had like chunks of sugar in the batter. So I did some research on Amazon and I found this pearl sugar that I'm so excited to try someday and make my own Belgian waffles. I have a Belgian waffle maker and it's just, you know, a matter of time before I whip up the recipe on this little bag and throw these pearls in and enjoy that delicious waffle that I have yet to find like an equivalent one in our area. So super excited about that. That will definitely be in a future video. And it may seem a little pointless for me to put like just two OXO containers in this clear container. But as you guys will see in a little bit, I have some like wire shelves that hang on the ledge of these um, built-in shelves. And it actually fits like right underneath. So it makes it easy to remove those if I need them. So for now, this is gonna be how I organize the pantry here. We also had this little like paper holder thing. I don't know what exactly what it's called, but Juan helped me hang it up and I decided to hang some like recipes, some trash bags, and then the little bottom pocket is gonna be for Aubrey's snacks. Like, so I can say she can go and grab something from her little cubby rather than hoard the entire pantry. Because as you will see, we do have some treats and I don't want her to feel like it's just like a free for all. It's like I can't walk on the ceiling Oh yeah Got me dreaming Driven in colors I never dreaming Oh yeah I let you in deeper than I let anyone else before Fell in love with my broken pieces Took them all and made them yours So I really don't know why Pop-Tarts doesn't label their individual packages, but I went ahead and got rid of the boxes, so I made sure to label the individual packages with what flavor they actually are. I love the brown sugar as well as the strawberry ones, so those are the flavors that we have here. And then this little clear container, I eventually found like a black one that matched the one it's right next to. And so you will see in a little bit that I ended up replacing it just so it's a little bit more symmetrical and aesthetically pleasing. So I had two more like longer, thinner containers left over. And so I thought 
I would go ahead and put the overflow for the Lazy Susan in here and then tuck these under some of the other ones in the pantry. And then on this level of our pantry, my dad is actually going to build us another shelf in the middle so that I don't have to stack one OXO container on top of the next. So it'll be like the perfect amount. And then we're even going to have some like extra little shelving on the side that he's going to build as well. So that will be an update in the future. I don't know exactly when it's going to get done, but it will definitely be a you know, more space. Obviously there's a lot of empty unused space on this level. So we're definitely going to make use of that by adding another shelf and hopefully things will be a little bit more accessible. But that wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's, you know, not the largest pantry, but I'm thankful that we have one. I know that not everyone does. So I'm, you know, just super excited about how functional it is. It stayed pretty organized since I made this, you know, video. So I'm super excited about that, that it's not just totally torn apart. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.